I would say never lose your hope. I always trust your tutors and lenders academy especially. I have I've seen a lot of, lot of cases like usually like student students chase the tutors, mm. but in this case the tutors are chasing the students. Especially in my case, like if I like more than to the two or three marks, I'm really disappointed and not not uh, like decide not to come to the lab session for like two or three days. But very next day, every time I get a text from Bruno sir, and he always allow me and push me to come to the lab session. Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, what a great day I've got Vishal with me. Eight each in PT. Well done, Vishal. Very, very proud and happy for you. Um, I've seen you working so hard. It was a bit of a long journey for us, full of ups and downs. And one thing which I am really, you know, happy about, you've got a perfect 19 reading. Yes. That was one section you were really scared about. Yeah. You were missing by two, three, four, five points every time in reading. What was the change this time as compared to all your previous attempts which helped you to get this perfect score? Yeah, so first of all I want to say thank you to you and your team to help me motivate and uh, throughout and support me throughout my journey. So as I was speaking about reading like during my last attempts I was lagging by two or three marks mm. and even though I was feeling all the other uh, subjects and speaking and everything. Mm. But I, I was thinking like I was lacking with some sort of uh, areas, but I, I, after having the one to one session with you, mm. you told me like uh, I need to uh, focus on small little things which I usually figure out and usually not giving consideration or like the mm. highlight correct summary for this in the listening mm. section mm. and plus the summarized reading text in yeah. the writing section. So those little tips really helped me to get through my reading score and achieve. That's right. That's right. Um, see, that is one of the very common thing which happens because when we are aiming for reading or when we are missing out in reading, we just keep on practicing blanks, blanks over and over again. But the fact is that if you are missing by 2-3 points, you need to cover up all the areas. You have to focus on highlight correct summaries, you need to focus on summarized written text. As in his case, what he was doing, he was doing summarized written text without even looking at the sentences. Right. You thought you were doing it the right way, but that was not actually the right way. And after changing your highlight correct summary and your summarized written text, this was your first attempt, I guess, right? Yeah, the first, very yes. first attempt. First attempt after that, and he's got a perfect 19 reading. So guys, remember this thing, each and everything matters. Don't just focus on um, very important tasks or tasks which are going to contribute more points. Yes, they are very important, but you shouldn't neglect other things as well. All the areas are very, very important. Vishali, you've got almost perfect 19 speaking every time. Yes. Right? Every time 19 speaking, how's that? There are few students out there struggling in speaking. They are getting the scores in another section. Any tips for speaking? Please? Definitely. Like back in uh, early early this year, I was getting like 80, 80 in uh, my speaking section, but not perfectly 90. Mm. But after you giving the new tips and the strategy for the speaking section, it really works for me every time. Mm. Like even though I was lacking for some other section, but not for the speaking. Mm. Every, every time I've got 90, perfect 90 in my every speaking sections. Mm. So yeah, that strategy works for me really well. And I've also known by from one of my friends as well, they're, it's working for them as well. So those strategies really have to follow early students. That's right. I remember one day he came up to me and said, that, are they still working? Um, yes, I, I understand because when we reveal the strategy for the very first time, things can sound a bit weird, yeah. right? Um, it looks like it won't really work. It's pretty hard to uh, digest those things. Right? Yes, I understand that. Um, but what do you think, um, you know, what is speaking all about? Is, is it more of your speaking skills or is it something else? I don't think like if, if someone thought like they are pretty much lacking with their speaking voice or speaking fluency or whatever, but as from my knowledge, I just more, you know, the main thing for speaking is like you have to concentrate. Mm. Don't just do not uh, pressurize or repeat the questions like the first or second question. Mm. You have to speak clearly and precisely. Mm. You have to follow your tips brought by your tutors. And if you follow that, you can achieve the 90 score in the second right, section. Right. So basically, you have to handle your nerves properly. Definitely. Because yeah. in the beginning, we are very, very nervous. We mm. are having this thing in mind that yes, this is my attempt. I have to get the score. And that nervousness can hamper whole of your speaking. So very important you handle your nerves properly and perform properly throughout your speaking section. Any final tips for students out there preparing for the exam? I remember at one point you were not really sure if you want to go ahead with PT or not. Right? You used to miss by two, three points and that can be depressing, I understand. Because you were giving a hundred percent. You used to finish work at five, six, you used to sit in the lab two hours, I remember. And then you used to run away. I remember <laughs> that as well. Um, any tips for our people out there who are thinking that they can't do it or who feel like giving up? Any advice, please? I would say never lose your hope. I always trust your tutors and lenders academy, especially because I, 
I have, I've seen a lot of, lot of cases like usually like student students chase the tutors, mm. but in this case the tutors are chasing the students. Mm. Especially in my case, if I like with the, with the two or three marks, I probably get disappointed and not, not uh, like decide not to come to the lab session for like two or three days. But very next day, every time I get a text from Bruno sir, and he always allow me and push me to come to the lab session and attend the lab session. Yep. So I would say never lose your hopes. Mm. Keep trying and trying and you one day you will succeed. That's right, that's right guys. Make sure you keep on trying and trying, but make sure once you do not get your score, you analyze your mistakes. It's very, very crucial that you figure out what mistakes you're making and then only go for the next gym. Don't just rush for your next gym because if you're doing the same thing today and you're doing the same thing tomorrow, you're going to get the same results. And one thing, remember this thing, never hesitate to ask for help. It is very important to ask because if you're not sure about anything and if you don't ask, you will be standing at the same point, same situation. Very important you ask and clarify all your doubts. Do not hesitate to ask for help and keep on practicing. All the very best guys. Congratulations once again. Yes, all the very best for that. That's it from this video guys. Make sure you keep on practicing and I'll see you very soon. Thanks guys.